right you can press it here or you can make an up uh, uh, manual I can now uh, use this manual there is a problem in the grinder itself Okay guys, how are you? Um, now we're gonna repair uh, BES Preville BES 990, the high-end one. And let's try what, uh, let's find out what what is the problem for this uh, machine. Okay, let's start with the uh, unplugging or plug in the machine. Okay, but before that, before that, we're gonna use the RCD. This is a residual card device and this is PRCD, a protect personnel protected residual card device okay um, this will help you uh, for the electric shock the fatal electric shock um, this is for the safety you know this is in New Zealand uh, it is really required for us to use this RCD okay and then we're gonna plug this one here if there is any short the RCD will uh, protect you. Okay. okay. Now, we're gonna try how to check how to diagnose the service mode. You have to press five seconds and it will come. This Revel logo and uh, you have to enter the code. Surely the code is just five zeros only one two three four five enter and then you have to check the error code the error counter see here see what is the error here we have to find out let's try now this is the error codes see so it's zero zero from the steam boiler go down to the copy boiler it's zero so now you go from here still zero nothing but now look at this you can see it's not quite clear you can see there is a uh, error error 15 steam wand NTC short so the count of the error is eight it means eight times become faulty not only that there is also a steam wand ntc ntc is a probes it's a sensor say one this two is the problem 15 and 16. so so let's proceed if there is another another problem okay and no more okay let's close this thing okay so uh, error 15 and 16 something to do with the steam one yes this is the steam one let's start uh stop the operation that's why it become uh, error 15 so let's try to uh change this steam steam one okay Turn up the machine. Try to make English. <laughs> okay, turn up the machine. Don't mind about the other options, service mode. I'm gonna teach you how soon. Okay. Turn up the machine and we will open the machine. I'm gonna teach you how to open this machine. It's so simple. There are few screws to be opened, to be unscrewed. One, two, three, four, five, six screws to be unscrewed so that you can. Of course, you have to remove the hopper. This is a hopper for the grinders. Then we'll get the parts, and the part is this. 
this is brand new steam one this is what it looks like this is what it looks like see it's a brand new steam one we need to replace this one okay but first I'm gonna try to on this okay see this is the problem starting up is not proceeding because there is an error 15 and we all know we already checked that there is an error 15 in the service mode all right okay let's proceed let's open the unit turn it off don't forget to unplug for your safety don't forget to unplug the machine okay okay camera pass forward then this is what inside of the coffee machine okay I'm gonna remove the steam one over here okay let's try to move, remove now there's three screw here for them Okay, yeah, na, 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 palitan na po natin yung ating uh, uh, steam one and this is the faulty steam one 
and uh, we're going to try it now. I'm gonna put the water on this at this top one liter for testing only. And you have to put the drip, the drip tray. This is the drip tray. And already. Right. And then just wait for me there. I'm gonna get some water. This water, I'm gonna put it at the back. Don't close, don't, don't put uh, the screw yet because it's under test. Then try to plug it in. Goes into the RCD. Okay. Okay. Now you can see the error, so no more error. It's fine. No more error. So it means uh, I think we solved the problem. Okay, let's let's start the uh, temperature to become uh, 93 degrees before we start uh, the testing. That is the default. Okay, you can you can adjust the temperature to 96, 97. It's up to you. But the advisable is 93 only. So it says that hopper and lap you have to put in. This hopper I'm going to test the beans. Okay. Now we got the photo filter and uh, let's put in the automatic uh, grinder. Let's put the beans of course. I'm using a beans, I'm using a dark beans. And uh, we're gonna set I, I want to set it into a 20 24 because if you will set the grinder to fine it's the water it may not come out because it's so fine it's almost blockage okay let's try to put a three I guess uh, and then close it for safety try you can press it here or you can Make an up uh, uh, manual. I'll kind of use this manual. There is a problem in the grinder itself. This is easy. Okay. Sometimes we have to change. We have to change the grinder, or adjust the grinder itself so how to adjust the grinder okay one more one more we have to uh, change first the upper blade this is the upper blade this is the upper blade and um, this uh, upper burr is uh, depends upon the uh, two types Let's see smooth and there's some line in here so we're gonna use this one as it depends on what kind of upper burr it has in here. Okay. I hope my, my voice is clear to you. This guys, there is another problem. See? The steam's coming out in here. So it's not good. What you have to do is just to change all of this. If there's a three o-ring probes, okay, where is it? It's coming from here. Okay, we just change the o-ring. This kind of thing. We're gonna change this first. We're gonna fix this first before we're gonna fix the uh, grinder. Okay, let's try to turn off again. But don't remove. Don't ever ever remove after turning off the machine because this is a high pressure okay everything will be changed all the o-rings will be changed okay just leave it for an hour if you are in a hurry just we have a scale here down here 
you can scale or you can remove this and take care but don't I'm not recommending this one it's not recommended it is a for professional only okay okay I'll do it but I'm not gonna show you because that's not good to change the o-ring here let me change the o-ring this upper blade Sabihin, it means that uh, you need to upgrade the firm wheel if it is stamping. Uh, it is grinding, but the same here it's stamping. So it needs to upgrade the firm wheel. Okay, so now it's ready. See, did you hear that there is no sound anymore after we we uh, changed the upper bar? So the upper blade, upper bar or upper blade. And it looks like this. So just this one. So now it's 93 degree. Let's try the coffee. Let's try first to do. Okay. So Let's start, bro. Nothing. No water coming out. Again. See, so, uh, I changed all the O-rings. This one for the a pump motor, and this one is for the copy boiler. Here, this is the copy boiler, and this is the steam boiler. So, guys, after we uh, change, replace the O-rings, um, we'll try to uh, test the pump motor this is the pump motor here see connected in here in this steam steam boiler so if this something is not fit well the pump motor will not uh, have a water at, in this bar see this is what happened before so I tried to change all the o-rings and then let's see what will happen okay See, water came up. Looks good. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, ready. The cup is ready. And that's all. So we fixed three different problems. We fixed error 15, which is a steam one. We replaced the steam one. We fixed the noisy grinder, which is we changed the upper burr. Or, or you have to adjust the grinder here but it's already solved by changing this upper bar and the leaking here we change the the o-rings okay and then the pump motor didn't this uh, dispense water so we have to check here in this pump motor hose so there is some little bit leak so we change also the uh, o-ring without changing the pump motor so it solves three issues and now three uh, four issues are also the leaking here now we are ready to go we are ready to make a good coffee okay Put it in 68, should be 65, it's the normal settings. Okay. Then, wash this one, and this is my milk, and this is my coffee. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that um, try to uh, uh, press that bell in that or in here in here <laughs> and subscribe thank you so much bye see you and peace